Hello and welcome Aries. This is your April 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Ellick. You are watching Thomas Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share. It really does help the channel out. So let's see what we got uh, for you this month. What we will do here, Aries, we will uh, divide the reading in sort of sections so it makes it easier to actually <clears throat> convey the messages. And the areas are as follows. Firstly, we will look at the overall energy for the months of April 2023 for your very sign of Aries. Before we then move on to your emotional core, and the emotional core section is about whether there's love coming in, whether there's healing that needs to happen, that kind of stuff. Before we then finally look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of April 2023. So, let's dive right in. <clears throat> let's look at the overall energy for the sign of Aries for the months of April 2023, and I'm drawn to my galaxy balls. Let's have a look. Okie dokie, are you ready, Aries? The energy here is not super difficult, but slow. So, in order for you to make progress overall, this month you have to use the element of spring so by default this is your april reading and spring officially starts on march 20th <clears throat> and aries as the first sign is the sign of the doer which means you have to create your own inertia your own um, energy to make things happen and it is important because technically speaking aries is the energy of the beginning and the beginning is the beginning of spring so the point is come come 20th of march will already which is already what will have happened by the time you watch this you are in extra powerful energy and because you are governed by mars which is a fiery energy and your um, element is fire it's understanding that you function best when your motor is running and here <clears throat> in your um, in this galaxy ball you have a starting point a and then you have an end point of sorts uh, and in the middle you have a smaller bubble so to speak so the point they're making is don't look at what it is you want to achieve just understand that the journey is the important the important thing here so when you make plans in the month of april don't make them with an end goal you don't have to achieve everything all at once you don't have to go and only when you have achieved a certain amount of what it is you want to do um, will you then be happy about yourself allow yourself to go from one from one day to the next so to speak but understand that what and we're getting this sort of strongly here at least for for some of your areas um, is understanding when tiredness kicks in and when uh, mental health issues flare up, you will have a hard time getting things done because the, the part of you that is self-promoting your energies and, and self-powering through stuff is not as strong. So you are asked to be very aware of your energy levels this month. Um, look, at, look after yourself, if that makes sense. And then from a high energy point of view, you should just go and do your thing without worrying <clears throat> about, oh, if I don't reach this that goal by the end of this time, um, I, I'm a failure. So don't do this to yourself, right? So that's the overall energy for Aries for the month of April 2023. You're watching Thomas' Tower readings. If you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. And cheekily, I will put that little thingy bob that I just said in the screen on the screen in any case let's have a look at your emotional core this month Aries now you have the north node and the north node is not quite correct if that makes sense because the, 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 the north node astrologically speaking talks about what you came here to do and about the future as you are as you evolve so the north node here is your is the future <clears throat> the point the guides are making here is when it comes to your emotional core do not do 
what you sometimes do, Aries, which is procrastinate. When you're going through stuff, understand reliving it in your mind. Oftentimes we triggers memories that are not necessarily leaving you. So what the guides are saying is it comes with it comes to your emotional core. Allow yourself to foresee a future free from the crap that has happened before. So this is about you understanding we're moving into spring, the energy is higher, so therefore I can bring any um, any intimate relationship, so to speak, to a, to a better level, to a more intimate level and also to a more um, honorable level, if that makes sense. And uh, by the same token, uh, it is easier to manifest, if that makes sense. But your outlook has to be this one, I'm going to make it work, without thinking about whatever happened in the past, if that makes sense. Really, really important to not allow yourself um, to go back in time and maybe um, compare people to one another. doesn't quite work that way. So that is your emotional core. And now we're looking at your um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of March, sorry, April. Um, <clears throat> and in April, opportunities are not super abundant and you have alliance. Now you can see that. So what the guides are saying is, rather than making massive changes, let's just say, okay, I'm going from this job to the next job, right? Which again, if that's what you feel you should be doing, there's nothing here that stops you. The point is that the energy doesn't quite flow from one thing to the next and starting over. The energy here for your opportunities is about how can I make work what I got at this point in time that's right in front of me? Is there any way... I can collaborate with someone that is in the same boat, so to speak, right? Before you decide whether or not to move on, if that makes sense. This month, April 2023, for the sign of Aries, really, really important to, to um, look at, is there another way, instead of this ending, if that makes sense, um, maybe collaboration is the key. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you. This was your general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. Um, that's just the nature of general readings, but it has been my experience and my belief that people who need to hear this will find this video. Speaking of finding this video, did you know that it is much easier for you to be notified when videos are coming up when you actually subscribe? Because statistically speaking, we have way more people viewing videos, then we have people subscribing to a channel, which is a common thing across um, the, the, the YouTube uh, phenomenon, if that makes sense. So please, please, please like, subscribe and share, and I see you all next month. Bye-bye.